My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, I welcome you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, tonight's reflection will come from Gospel of Luke, chapter 38, sorry, chapter 4, from verse 38 to 40. Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, from verse 38 to 40. And the theme of our contemplation is, your sickness is gone. Your sickness is gone. And before we go into uh, our reflection, I would like us to pause for a while um, to give a honor to our one of our members that died, that's the husband of uh, Josephine. Jesus is the resurrection and life. He said, Where I am, my servant shall be. I pray that the good Lord will sustain this family. It's not easy for this family. It's not easy at all, especially when you lose their loved one. It's not easy. That the Lord will sustain this wife and the children. It's not easy for them. The code of death and the sting of death is heavy. A lively man. Frederick Balima. He was one of us. And he died on the 24th of December. May the soul of Frederick Balima, the soul of all the faithful departed, for the mercy of God, rest in peace. May God rest in perfect peace. Amen. Loving Father, I, your worthy servant, stand before your presence to thank you for this wonderful group. You told us in Ecclesiastes chapter one from this, chapter three from verse one to ten that there is time for everything. I was praying for this family. That's why sometimes uh, it's not um, easy to grieve and at the same time preach. Jesus was emotional. See, my heart was troubled. That's why I'm mixing up chapters this, this evening. I'm just imagining how this young man that so much loved the family and loved the heart of Jesus and Mary prayer ministry just went to bed and they couldn't get up. Very devoted family. Very devoted family. They so much love each other. And that reminds us of um, what was said in the Bible. Two people will be sleeping, one taking the other left. And Jesus said, I will come like a thief. I pray that the cold weather of the winter will not remind this family of the absence of this man. I pray that the Spirit of God will fill their house, fill their heart, and sustain them. Let the angels be on guard in this family. Let Archangel Raphael, that led Toby and Tobias, be with you. I pray that our mother, Mary, our Lady of Soul, will be there to console and comfort you. May our brother that fought the good fight on earth have eternal rest in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. <sighs> Dear children of the light, we thank God for allowing us to 
come this day to call his name. Many people are sick. I seem to say COVID is coming back again. Some people are having sore throat. Some people, when they go to the hospital for checkup, one thing or the other was found. And they are afraid. Tonight, I bring before the Lord all your sicknesses. Some people are having toothache. Some having blood, bloody gums. Some people are having eye problems. Some people are having migraine. Some people are having ear, nose, and throat situation. Some have their thyroid. Some have tumor all over them. Both the benign and the one they are not, they don't know what is going on. Some have fibroid issues. Some have kidney and liver problem. Some have cancer. Some have arthritis. And the pain for some people in the cold weather is not pleasant at all. Some are having back back ache, waist pain, chest pain. Breast tumor. Some went for hysterectomy. Some are having a lot of issues. Their menstrual cycle. Some have urinary tract infection. Some have prostate situation. Some have breathing issues. Some are asthmatic. Yes, Lord. You are the God that takes care of your children in one way or the other. Some have a lot of joint pains, numbness of the heart, numbness of the tongue and legs, high blood pressure, low blood pressure. Tinglings all over, wobbling legs, nerve problems, cardiac problems. Diabetic complications and diabetes. Yes, Lord, we thank you. He says only the physician that can heal us, only the sick needs the physician. You know that the gifts of the physicians are welcome in this situation. Continue to sustain our staff, our doctors and nurses. So when they are healthy, they will be able to take care of the patients. Nobody wants to hear that uh, his or her own doctor is sick. Father, visit them in their various families to continue to sustain them. Heal the sick among us. Heal the sick among us, Father. We repel and rebuke all evil forces. Crush every element in your people's house. They shall breed life. They shall breed life. We said in John 10, 10, I've come. That you have life, not sickness. You have life, not sickness. You have life and have it in abundance. Father, stretch out your blessing hands upon your children one by one. To heal them. To heal them. Many people have psychological sickness. Emotional crisis. So many people are bleeding. Many families are sick because of their relationship that is toxic. Cold war everywhere is 
out of sickness. Some cry unconsolable. Little misunderstanding will trigger a lot of things in the family. Father, we pray that you restore back health, spiritual health, physical health in many families and their brothers and sisters all over the world. Your children have gathered to pray for the sick tonight. Any type of sickness that you are going through or your family or your friend, many people that are sick, mention their names at this time. For the Lord, the great healer, is moving around to heal you. My brother is healed. My sister is healed. Our parents are healed. Thank you, Jesus. My brother is healed. My sister is healed. Our parents are healed. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bring before your presence our sick parents, our sick brothers and sisters. As you were able to heal Peter's in-law, stretch out your blessing hands upon the sick tonight. To heal them one by one. As you were able to heal the woman of hemorrhage. When she touched your cloth, Jesus. Let this night's prayer be a meeting point for your children to be healed. No matter what they are going through. Some people are anemic. Father, heal them. Heal them. Nobody wants to drive a car without a gas. Heal the anemic children. Stabilize the autistic children. Sometimes their parents are stressed out. How can they function when they go to work? Father, bless all nursing mothers. Nine months is not nine days. When their children are not happy and they start, they are awake. When their children are sick, they are awake. When their children are at the hospital, they are also there. This night is a special night. Night of divine healing. Night of divine blessing and healing. There is atmosphere of heal- miracle and healing going on at this hour. Shower your blessings of healing upon your children, Father. And many people that will listen to this anointed message. Heal them, Father. Heal them. Breathe the air of healing upon them. Let the roar of God attend upon them. Pierce through the marrows and heal the cancer and the bones, the marrows. Father, you can locate every sickness and poison in the hearts of the people, in the stomach of people. We are doctors cannot reach brain tumor, Father, go there and shrink it. In the mighty name of Jesus, so many people are afraid of the fiber. They don't want to go to hospital. Father, some of your children are very afraid. You know how best to handle their fibroid, Father. 
Let your spirit encourage them to take care of their health. Present to them good doctors that will take care of them so that they will be alive and healthy. To reap the fruit of their labor. Father, your children need your divine attention. Your children need your divine attention. Do not allow them to suffer once and go hungry. Free them from enemy of progress. Free your children from enemies of progress. Father, bless the children that call upon your name tonight. It's not easy for your children. Some people are having sleepless nights because of their diagnosis and prognosis. Everybody that goes to the doctor wants to hear good news. Nobody wants to hear bad news. Father, remove untimely death in the life of your children. Father, stretch out your blessing hands upon your children. Do not allow the sting and pangs of death to steal your children away. Wherever they have gathered against your children, scatter them, both home and abroad. Crush and annihilate all prospice and power, all monitoring spirits. I come against them at this hour. The sting and pangs of death, knocking at the door of many families. I come against them in the mighty name of Jesus. Sickness will go away. Your sickness is gone, child of God. Your headache is gone. Your migraine is gone. Your achy body is gone. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your finger arthritis is gone. Your eye problem is gone in the mighty name of Jesus. Only you could cheer up with. Take a deep breath, child of God, and breathe out. Do not die before your healing. Doctors have said their own. God has not said the final word. Don't die before your time. What about the time you didn't even know that it was in the body? Now you know you want to die. Stay focused, child of God. Stay positive. Be optimistic. There is blessed assurance There is divine arrangement. You shall not die, you shall live. To recount the deeds of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, bless Mazen Nandekano. Bless him. Go through his head. Go through his heart. Go through his stomach. Go through his kidney and liver. Go to his whole body and make him whole. And many other people that are suffering and are youths languishing in the prison yard. Father, sustain them. Some of them are not eating very good food. You can imagine many thousands of them. Some are sick. Some are pregnant. Many countries. poor health condition in the prison yard. Father, visit everybody that is sick. If we can take care of our animals and our pets, 
remember those people that are in some places and some countries that have poor health condition, deplorable ones. We have come for you to heal us. We have come for you to heal us. We believe in you. We believe in you. Oh God, come and heal your people. We have come for you to heal us. We have come for you, my God, to heal us. We have strong faith in you. We believe in you. Oh, God. Come and heal your people. Abba Father, come and heal your people. Abba Father, come and heal your people. We believe in you. We trust in you. Abba Father, Come and heal your people. Abba Father, we have gathered once again. Abba Father, your children are here. Come and heal your people. Come and heal your people, O oh, Abba Father. Come and heal your people. Many souls are wounded for no just cause. Many are killed. Many, many people are wounded. Oh, Father, save your children that are emotionally hurting. Come and heal your children. Abba, Father, many are suffering and are sick psychologically because of Mental torture. Mental torture. By fellow human beings. Some of them wanted to die. But you saved them. And they did not take their life. How can someone. Somewhere. Be suffering. Because of misunderstanding. Because of accusation. And you are sickening your daughter, you are sickening your brother, your sister. Somebody is dying. And nobody is asking questions. It's like crucify him, crucify him, crucify her, crucify her. In-laws are fighting with only one person. Everybody is against you. But God is with you. Do not die before your time. I'm talking to you. Yes, you. God has remembered you. You have gone to the hospital. They didn't find anything. COVID-19 came, you survived. And that tiny, tiny, that tiny stuff is eating deep into you. Stand up and resist the devil. Don't deprive your parents 
of this gift, your precious gift to your parents. If the world hated you, your parents and your siblings love you. If your friends reject you and accuse you for nothing, and that's why you are sick, remember that your God has not rejected you. Your God does not cause you a sickness. You are dying for someone that doesn't love you. Do you think that when you die or kill yourself, that that person will, will, will regret it? Do you think that the person will come for your funeral? Tell no, Jose. You're not going to die, child of God. It doesn't work. It. Yes, you are talking to you. Get up. Get up from that slumber and stand on your two feet and start thanking God and praising God and that's your stormy weather. It doesn't work. It. Jesus died to save us. So you are dying to, to prove a point or what? Are you dying to prove a point or what? At least Jesus died to save our souls. And you are dying to save what? You haven't finished your work on it. Loving Father, it's not easy. This message is hard. Your children are dying for nothing. Your children are sick. Because someone is suppressing them, suppressing them in their area of work. Suppressing them in their community of worship. And your children are having running temperature and high blood pressure. Father, heal them. Heal many families. That the enemy enemies want to sow seed of discord. And sickness. Let this night be night of healing. Night of restoration. Transform me, Lord. I am your child. Be my healer. Come close. To me, transform me, Lord. I am your child. Be my healer. Come close to me. Transform me, Lord. Transform me, Lord. Transform me. Transform me, Lord. Why when do more? I will Bia kute mochimu Ba wendo mo Abongwagi Bia gwomo ya mo Bia kute mwagi O mogeni na yo yerika ko O fona na yejezi alu o I kadra zo fodo haje jalu o Alene bo mogi chukomo Heal your children Heal your children Heal your children, Father. Oh, 
come close to them. Yes, Father. Thank you for doing it once again. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Child of God, I would like us to look at the reflection of tonight. Gospel of Luke chapter 4 from verse 38 to 40. And I read. Jesus left the synagogue and went to Simon's house. Simon's mother-in-law was very sick. She had a high fever. They asked Jesus to do something to help her. He stood very close to her and ordered the sickness to go away. The sickness left her and she got up and began serving them. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, Listening to this passage, I want you to personalize this passage. That Jesus is coming to you in your own house. Jesus has already come, if you have faith. He is with us tonight. He has come. He left Simon's house. And he is in your house. I want you to close your eyes to receive Jesus. Close your eyes. And say, Jesus, come. Come close to me. Come into my body. Go through my head. Go through my whole self. Go through my whole body. Heal my aches and pain. Heal every infirmity in me. Make me whole again. Make me well again. Free me from all sickness. Free me from all sickness. And I will be well again. Say amen. Say amen, child of God. Yes. Your sickness is gone. When you put you away. Jesus left the synagogue and went to Simon's house. If you are planting in the garden of the Lord, God will plant in your own garden. Simon left the fish and everything and followed Jesus. And we are told that uh, his in-law was sick. His mother-in-law was sick. So Jesus went. And heal the mother-in-law. And she started taking care of Jesus and the, the rest of the apostles. Child of God, Jesus is taking care of you tonight. You will be able to go back to your walk in the mighty name of Jesus. Say amen, child of God. Jesus is taking care of your mother-in-law, your father-in-law, your brothers and sisters. They will be able to go back to their area of work in the mighty name of Jesus. They will be able to go back to their studies in the mighty name of Jesus. Your children that are sick will be able to go back to their studies in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, say amen. That's your friend that has been sick. God will heal her. God will heal him in the mighty name of Jesus. That's your brother, your uncle that is sick. God is taking care of him or her at this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. Mention them one by one. Mention them one by one. 
Yes, Lord, we thank you. As you were able to take care of her mother-in-law, Peter, take care of the sick tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. And when, when your faith in the Lord encapsulates your being, you'll be able to see what Peter and the apostles saw. They said that the sickness left her. The fever left her. The sickness left her. Whatever be your sickness, whatever be your sickness, your fear, phobia, your depression, your anxiety, your suicidal ideation, whatever it is tonight, I command it to go away in the mighty name of Jesus. They said that the sickness left that mother-in-law. I command whatever that is happening to you to get away from you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will have a lot of testimonies tonight. You will be a living testimony to what is happening to you. That it will be evaporated from you at this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. When you go cheer away. You confront everything like demons. You minister to that sickness. You have to size your body and tell that body that that body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, not for sickness. Your sickness is gone in the mighty name of Jesus. Child of God, say amen. God so much loves you. In verse 40 of Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, they said that when the sun went down, the people brought their sick friends to Jesus. Look at that. When you see something good, you show your friends, you show your neighbor, you show your siblings. When the sun went down, the people brought their sick friends to Jesus. They had many different kinds of sicknesses. Jesus laid his hands on each sick person and healed them all. That was what the Bible said. They had many different kinds of sicknesses. The ones known, the ones so known, all knowing God knows all of them. And Jesus laid his hands on each sick person, each one, and healed them. I pray that the hands of healing of Jesus will touch every part of your body that is aching and the sick. Jesus will be your doctor. Jesus will be the medicine that will heal you today. I want you to sing that song. Jesus, the medicine that heals me today. Jesus is the medicine that heals. Jesus, the medicine that heals me today. Jesus is the medicine that heals. Yes. Jesus is the oxygen of our life. The medicine that will heal you today, child of God. On your way. Your physical sickness is gone. Your psychological problem is gone. Your emotional trauma is gone. Your spiritual problem is gone. Your children need healing. Whatever that is going through in your house that needs the attention of the Holy Ghost will be taken care of tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Look at what Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14 says. He said, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. He said, Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my God. It is the Lord that can save you. And in Jeremiah chapter 33, from the sea, it says, Behold, I bring to it health and healing, and I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. Look at that. God is doing something new in your life. God is bringing healing upon your body. God is bringing healing to your wounded heart. First Peter chapter 2 verse 24 says, He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Look at that. First Peter chapter 2 verse 24. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree. That we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Look at that. Wounded Messiah is also the healing Messiah. You know, sometimes uh, it's an irony somehow. You tell a doctor that you are sick, or let me take it, you have a, you have toothache, and you go to the doctor to remove the toothache, <laughs> and then the doctor will also inject you and put Navicaine, and adding more pain, and then we will extract your teeth and cause more bleeding and ache again before you have your healing and then you relax. Which means from, say, from your pain, you are healed. The wounded Messiah is also healing our wounds. And when you share in the cross of Jesus, your own cross will become a sacramental cross. But if you just look at your own suffering as an ordinary suffering, that's why you 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 continue to to cry, and you'll be feeling the pain all the more. But when you recline on the cross of Jesus. That's your suffering and pain caused by someone, whether the person loves you or you love the person, that will be a sacramental suffering. It will no longer be paining you the way it used to pain you because you have surrendered. You have surrendered your suffering at the cross of our Savior, and it becomes your sacramental suffering. Then, book of Psalm 41, verse 3 says, The Lord sustains him on his sick bed. In his illness, you restore him to full health. Psalm 41, book of Psalm 41, verse 3. If you are sick, be saying, book of Psalm 41. If you are sick, that same book of Psalm 41. The Lord sustains him on his sick bed. In his illness, you restore him to full health. God sustains us, child of God. Without him, we can do nothing. Book of Psalm 147, verse 3 says, He heals the brokenhearted. And binds up their wounds. Look at that. 
the Lord healed the broken hearted. God knows that many people, many people's hearts are wounded. Many people's hearts are wounded. And the Lord is healing your broken hearts. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 22 says, A joyful heart is good medicine. A joyful heart is good medicine. But a crushed spirit dries up the bones. A joyful heart is good medicine. But a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Look at that. So, child of God, make sure that you have a joyful heart. If the world rejects you, don't reject yourself. Find a way to make yourself happy. Find a way to make yourself happy. When I come into your presence, I'm so happy. When I come into your presence, I'm so glad. For your presence, there is anointing. And the Spirit of the Lord surround me. In your presence, anointing brings the you. Yes. In the presence of the Lord, anointing brings the yoke. When God is healing your broken heart and binding your wounds, cheer up. Cheer up. Book of uh, Proverbs spoke something. Book of Proverbs 17, 22 says, a joyful heart. Not a sorrowful heart. A joyful heart is good medicine. Turn your sorrow into joy. You know, when our mother Mary had a joyful ministry, there was a time he went through sorrowful ministry. Sometimes we face... Uh, a lot of turbulence in our life. And you look unto Jesus. Look unto Jesus. And you find healing. You look unto our mother Mary. You find, find healing. You can imagine our mother Mary. She brought her own child. To the priest. Simon. And say a sword will pierce your heart. A sword will pierce your heart. But your child will be a sign of the rise and fall of Israel. You'll be imagining what kind of child is it? When, when her mother Mary started seeing everything happening to Jesus, you can imagine how she felt. Like every mother, she was sorrowful. Book of James chapter 5 verse 15 says, And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sin, he will be forgiven. Look at that. Child of God, receive your healing. And receive your forgiveness from your sins. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Say amen, child of God. Jesus always heals and forgives. Even on the cross, our wounded Messiah told the, the repentant uh, thief, Today, your sins are forgiven. You will come to me. You enter into the paradise with me. Look at that. 
Uh, that, 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 that repentant thief did not even go for catechism in class. I don't know whether he was baptized. But Jesus there and there gave him absolution and brought him into the paradise. Some people are lucky. That's why we have to pray for people that are sick and dying to open the door for them for healing. And for people whose uh, time is near eternal life. But John chapter 1 verse 3 says, Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. Third John chapter 3. Third John chapter 1 verse 2. Third John chapter 1 verse 2. I pray that all may go well with you, that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. Sometimes you feel you think that you're alone in your situation. Yeah, because you're human, you may think that way. But God is with you, child of God. The Lord is with you. If the Archangel Gabriel told our mother Mary, the Lord is with you. Claim it tonight that the Lord is with you, child of God. God is with you. Chapter 41 verse 10 says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Look at that. The Lord is with you. And in Isaiah 53 from verse 4 to 5 it says, Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. You know, sometimes some people are shock absorbers. In, in, in your area of work, if there is anything that is happening, such people will just take care of everything. Everybody will say, oh, thank you. Oh, if this person is here, nothing will happen. Oh, oh. Thank God he or she is there. They know you. They know what you can do. Not everybody is a shock observer. Not everybody can take pain. Some people are there. Would you see a rumble? Some people have it have have such people in their family. They are Christ like. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered, we considered him punished by God. Let me tell you, sometimes when you are doing the will of God and, and, and so, something happens to you, other people will be saying God has answered our prayer. Now he or she is suffering. And then when you listen to those uh, nonsense, you start crying. God, why are, you, why are you punishing? No, no, no. God is with you, but you are listening to the, the people that are mocking you. Pay attention to God. And don't pay attention to their gossip and the, the way they are talking to you. We have to act like, like Stephen. When Stephen was, was being stoned, he was looking up to heaven. And seeing the end, the gate, the heaven open, seeing angels ascending and descending, and they, they were stoning him, even though the body was dying, but the spirit was was alive and moving forward. Sometimes your enemies may think that they are punishing you. 
that you are, you are suffering in the flesh. I want you to look at Isaiah 53 from verse 4 to 5. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered, we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds we are healed. Let's go into prayer. Think about this child of God. At your convenient time, look at Isaiah 53 from verse 4 to 5. And find solace. In your suffering and pain. Especially when you are suffering. And you are in pain for what you did not do. God will fight your healing battle child of God. But don't die before your time. One has to be tested. Before your own testimony. Loving father. I thank you for tonight. I thank you for your children. That you have empowered and motivated tonight with your word. I bless them tonight with Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. That you will restore back their health and you will heal their wounded hearts. You said in Deuteronomy 32, from verse 39, that you, you'll be able to bless your people. There is no God beside you. You are the one that can cause death and bring to life. You are the one that will heal the wounds of your people. Only your righteous hand can deliver. Only your righteous hand can heal them. Father, I pray at this hour that your children will receive abundant grace. Divine protection will follow them. You are the one that will rescue them. You are the one that will shepherd them. You, because you said in Revelation chapter 21 verse 4 that you wipe away every tears from our eyes. That there will be no death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. Father, render your grace. Render your healing upon your children. That tonight, your children will be revived. That tonight, your children will be transformed. That tonight, your children will be encapsulated with your spiritual synergy. And you restore back what was lost. In the name of God the Father. God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Children of the light, I'm blessing you tonight as we are coming to the end of tonight's uh, prayer. That the Lord will bless your fasting and prayer. The Lord will bless your effort. I bless all your efforts with Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 to 10. Your sweat shall never be in vain. You will be alive to reap the fruit of your level. The Lord be with you. As you are about to sleep tonight, when the sleep comes, may you sleep under divine protection, free from any attack of the enemies. See from any perspective and powers. As you sleep, may you rise with newness of life to worship and adore the Lord and to sing His praises in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you.